Because for me, a most important asset in life, I believe, is time management. I see mostly youngsters are now busy watching uh, history videos. For example, about the Kohinoor diamond. Just giving an example. They will keep on watching the video about from where the Kohinoor diamond came, where it went, who has the Kohinoor diamond. What are you going to achieve from that? Call recharges 24 hours in your account every day. What are you going to do with that 24 hours? It's entirely your choice. You want to be a good communicator. You want to be successful in life. You, are, you want to go on the stage and give a nice talk. Your time will decide how do you spend your time. Will decide how you go ahead, how much you go ahead in life. It's all about uh, saying no. Do you say no? Can you say no? It's all about that. And I have that capability to say no. I say no. What is your daily schedule? Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, my uh, daily schedule is, uh, it's not about time management. It's about priority management. I, I give a lot of priorities. First of all, I decide my priorities. First of all, I decide what exactly I want out of my day. And then my priorities are defined. Of course, um, my most important priority is my health. So I focus on my health. I mean, nothing stops me from uh, physical exercise, my, my gym, my yoga. And next is my psychological health, my mental health. That is my meditation. So I work on these two important factors first. After that, the next most important priority is my family. If my family needs me, if they need, of course, family will not always need me. They they need me sometimes if there is any medical emergency or any other things. Usually they are there at their own. They, they handle themselves. My kids go do their own work, school, and my wife is a doctor. They do their own stuff. Second is my family. But I, mean, I don't need to go there. But uh, when uh, it's Sunday, I spend some time with them. I talk to them. I play with them. And sometimes I go for a long vacation also. That is very rarely I want to increase that. So that is my second priority is my family. But my third priority is my another family, DNA family, my students. I spend a lot of time with them. They message me. They ask me questions. They have some issues. There are online sessions running on nearly 14 to 16 hours. Online sessions, practice sessions are going on. I watch them. Uh, I talk with my team. I instruct them. So it's all about my family, my DNA family. I, I give a lot of time with them, spend a lot of time with them. But the next, again, after that important is my YouTube now. Now I focus on good content. I don't focus on just making videos, but good content. And most important thing is I believe that the realistic content, the content must be realistic. The content must have some value. I can add value in my subscribers. They should not waste their time watching my videos. And they should not get any wrong information, any fake information about uh, communication skill, about uh, personality development, about psychology, public speaking. I tell them the authentic things, the realistic things. That because at the end, these people are trusting me and watching my channel. They believe in me. And giving you wrong information, no way, never. So I do a lot of study for that, a lot of research for that. And then I make a video. So that is the YouTube. And then my another priority is my online sessions are regularly going on. One batch is in the morning, another is in the evening. So I'm busy in that, in the morning batch. Apart from that, I have a physical batch. I'm in a batch where I go and train my students. I live in Sangli, Maharashtra. I go there, I train them, I help them. These are youngsters around like uh, 18 to 25 years old. In that group, they come, talk to me. Uh, they have their issues, fear of group discussion. They don't have the confidence facing interviews. The, the communication is poor. English is very weak. Habits are not good. They are distracted, emotionally weak. So I help them also. So in this way, Uni Krishna, my, uh, my day is spent. <clears throat> now you may realize that here I do not uh, waste any time. Uh, yeah, I'm there on uh, social media. I'm there on LinkedIn mostly. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, my presence is there. But you will see that I am not here to just waste time anywhere. Now, another time is self-improvement time is there. In the self-improvement time, I at least read for one hour. In that reading, I have different varieties. I read a book. Uh, I read um, blogs. Reading a book and reading a blog. These are two very important activities I do. I mean, I never skip them. 
because uh, communication skill is not like a one month or two month course why i read first of all i'll tell you i read not only to improve my communication skills of course communication skill is on the cards but apart from that the main purpose of reading is to be more wiser to be more knowledgeable so when i read a book i very carefully choose the authors and i read a lot my vocabulary development my vocabulary notebook is here i constantly work on my vocabulary development another important factor listening i mean i listen to podcasts and audiobooks at least 1.5 hours a day at least that much is because when i'm traveling when i'm walking when i'm jogging whenever i'm free i i i listen a lot that is a podcast that is audiobook again i am not focusing on my english there i'm focusing on gaining more knowledge becoming more wiser from that podcast from that audiobooks and all my own podcast is there some of you know that i have to record some good podcasts i record that podcast and i myself edit that because there i have to be very careful i should not miss any word but the another important thing is i am not into the social media frenzy no i'm not into i'm not a youtube addict no i i can control myself very easily and that is the most important thing the thing about time management how do i spend my days i i know which are the vital activities which i have to focus on these are my vital activities these activities will change my life these activities will impact hundreds of and thousands of my students so i am very particular about my day and of course uh, i don't stay awake late night i go to bed at 10:30 and wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning so in this way my day is very carefully organized yeah there are some uh, things which happen which i don't have any control over i have to rush somewhere to my site construction site is going on but there also i have installed cctv cameras so that physically i am not required to go travel and see there i watch sit here i watch them what's happening over there any problem is there i coordinate because for me a most important asset in life i believe is time management the time is more important than anything else in life what uh, i see i i see a sorry picture students uh, and even and corporate employees they are literally hypnotized by social media and some videos uh, which do not have any content i see mostly youngsters are now busy watching uh, history videos for example about the kohinoor diamond just giving an example they will keep on watching the video about from where the kohinoor diamond came where it went who has the kohinoor diamond what are you going to achieve from that what are you going to get from that you will have some information that's all nothing else apart from that there are some people who are just busy watching vlogs useless work crap it is that's happening what they doing with their life wasting their time wasting their time means wasting their life see what do you do with your life depends upon what do you do with your time because every output in your life depends upon what do you do with the time which is given to you that that 24 hours of window opens every day in the morning and what you going to that recharge is there god recharges 24 hours in your account every day what you going to do with that 24 hours is entirely your choice and i am very meticulous about what to do with those 24 hours because i don't know how many 24 hours are left we don't know about that every day is a new day every day is a gratitude every day is a opportunity god has given me to make a positive difference in my life my family's life society's life in my dna family members life that's the reason why i am very particular about and everyone knows around me i mean now no one comes and wastes my time they don't expect that sandeep patel will come and gossip and waste no i don't do that these things communication you want to be a good communicator you want to be successful in life you you want to go on the stage and give a nice talk you are time will decide how do you spend your time will decide how you go ahead how much you go ahead in life it's all about uh, saying no do you say no can you say no it's all about that and i have that capability to say no i say no i say no to distractions i say no to unwanted um, whatsapp messages i block them i say no to unwanted whatsapp groups i say no politely i say no to the whatsapp debates in in the group some debates are there i am also part of some groups my friends are there i say no 
I say no to watching motivational videos, Uni Krishnan, you will be surprised. I say no to watching motivational videos because I don't need motivation from videos. I am self-motivated. Why to waste my valuable time watching motivational videos? Instead of that, that time can be invested in doing most motivational work. I don't need some external push to push me and uh, motivate. I don't need that. I believe that motivational videos that in those videos they show pictures of Shah Rukh Khan and Virat Kohli and all those people. These people have never gone to any motivational video, watching motivational video, motivation seminars. But now they are motivational icons. So I believe that only, okay, fine. Sometimes you get some good information from motivation well, strategies. I believe you should go for uh, learning strategies, not motivation. Strategies are there, different skills are there. Like my seminars, I talk about how to build communication, how to build vocabulary, how to go on the stage, how to perform in group discussion, how to handle group discussions, uh, how to be a leader in group discussion, interview skills I talk about. I talk about psychology, I talk about depression and all, stress management. These are the skills. These skills we need, not the motivation. So in this way, I spend my day at, when I go to bed, I sleep peacefully, when I get up, I don't need alarm at six o'clock. I get nice seven and a half hours of or seven hours of sleep. I eat good food. And at the end of the day, most important thing is are you adding value in the society? Are you making someone's life better? Are you healing someone? Are you helping someone to get a better job? better opportunity that that really matters for that's all